Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Uh, sorry about that. Going to get into Arislande Lara and Michael Zarafa uh, on the Amazon Prime card in just a couple of days. So before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Uh, Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if you do, I always use DraftKings for the site. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Uh, I don't gamble, but DraftKings is good. gives a good book. And it's, it's user friendly, so I like Draft Kings. Um, also join the uh, also join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. It goes a long way. Uh, get the lock of the week. Uh, get free T shirt. You get a ton of stuff. You can ask me anything. Ask me to break down any fight for you. I'll do it for you. Anything that you need, uh, I got you. Also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into uh, let's get into the fight. I've had some requests for this fight. Arislan Del Otter, the Cuban legend, former world champion, uh, one of my favorite fighters, um, former 154 pound champ, 160 pound world champion, uh, patient, you know, southpaw, patient, pinpoint accurate, lethal power in his left hand. I love Laura. You know, whenever I. I I asked Austin, I asked some other guys, who's the best fighter you've been in with? And like Trap, for example, has been in with the Chitalos. He's been in with Canelo and Cotto. And, you know, I said, who's the best fighter you've been in with? And he said, without a hesitation, absolutely Laura. You know, Laura is a special, gifted fighter. He stands his gra- ground a lot more. It's, it's not Laura that beat, beat up on Canelo. I, I know this isn't going to go away, but he's, he's a little bit different now. He's more stationary. He's more fun in some ways. Uh, stands his ground. He's more of a boxer puncher than he is a mover now. Great combinations and pivots. You know, he throws good combinations, pivots out of it. And the power is good. He's not there to be hit, you know, because, like I said, his footwork, his fundamentals are really good. His volume is down. He stands more. He's more stationary. That's what I'm trying to get at. Still good hand speed, and he's a great combination puncher. Super accurate. He's got a really good uppercut now. His, his rear uppercut is is really good. I don't know if he's always had it, but I've, I've watched in his recent fights, and it was something I, I didn't realize he had earlier this crowd. I don't know if he did. I have to go back and watch a lot of his earlier fights, see if he did. But it's really good now. Obviously, he mixes up his head and body shots really well. I mean, his ring IQ is through the roof. It's one of the best I've ever seen. He still makes you miss, but it's more strategic now. He's been out of the ring for two years, and and that's a concern for me. He's forty years old, and if he was fighting someone I thought a little bit more of than Zarafa, this this could be different. I, you know, a lot of times these Cuban guys can fight deep, deep into the thirties and 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 forties, but you know we're gonna find out something about Lara. I mean, he's had no decline. He's knocked out his last couple of opponents. He does get hit a bit more. Like I said, he is more stationary. He doesn't move as much. He's still. Looks like I have great condition. He's got great fundamentals and great timing. He's got great power in the left hand. He's got good power in both hands, but the, the, the power in the left hand is special. His volume is down. So you can see there are some symptoms of aging, but he's still really, really good. He's still a top-notch A-level fighter, I think. But the last time we saw him was two years ago. So how has he done the last two years? You know, we're, we're, we're fit to find out. Uh, again, he's fighting Michael Zarafa. I don't think the world of Zarafa. I, I I don't think much of him at all. I, I don't think he's a bum. He's a good fighter. He's a you know European level fighter. I just think at the world level, he just leaves a lot to be desired. Likes to be at a distance. Wants to jab from the outside. He wants to stand the outside. He wants to jab. He's super cautious, especially early, and I think he's going to fall behind on points. And I think that he may also have gas tank issues. I just don't see this fight going well for him. He's straight up and down. Pretty pretty simple, pretty basic. There's not a lot to him. He doesn't throw in high volume. He throws a lot, one at a time, one at a time, one jab at a time, one jab at a time. I want to see more double and triple up the jab. I want to see more combinations. I want to see more fainting. I, I just don't see it in him. He's, it, he's, he's taller than, than Laura. 
but he's got a shorter reach. So don't think that because of his, his he's going to have a two and a half. I think he's five eleven and a half. Laura's five nine. So he's got a little bit of a, of a height advantage. Don't think that's going to equate to a reach advantage because he's actually you know, Laura's got the freakishly long arms. I just don't just wrap as a world class fighter, and I, I think Laura, even at forty, you know what's left of him. We, we, like I was on his jet podcast talking about Aaron Rodgers. Like to me, Laura's like Aaron Rodgers. Like okay. He may not have all the physical gifts that he had when he was 28, but he still has an IQ that's through the roof. He's still going to know how to get it done, especially against a guy like Zara, who's not busy. Who's, I think he's got decent power, but not huge power. Like he hit um, Jeff Horn in the rematch you know, 5,000 times with big shots and, and, and couldn't end it. Zara is not particularly fast. Like He doesn't particularly strike me. As, as any, and he gets a little sloppy too. He's got good finishing skills, but he does get a little sloppy. He leaves himself wide open when he gets aggressive. And I think that's going to be his undoing. I think he's either going to have to get aggressive and Laura's going to nail him with the left hand and put him to sleep, or he's going to have to box cautious and get out boxed. Like, that's kind of how I see this going. I, I don't see really any good path to victory for him. Unless, and it's a possibility because he's 40, he has important two years, Laura has completely aged out. That's the possibility. All right, let's get into the book because you guys can obviously see what I think of this fight. We know Laura well. We've seen Zarafa. Zarafa loses his, his big money fights. He's just not at that level. Um, let's take a look at this. Arislande Lara and Michael Zarafa. Money line, Laura. Minus 340, which I think is reasonable. I think it's actually pretty good. I think that's a pretty good book. I I, I would make I would have made him a little higher. Uh, I'm gonna put a one and a half times bet on this. A hundred fifty dollar bet makes this forty four eleven. Uh so it's gonna make us about fifty bucks on this. I like Laura a lot in this fight. I really don't see much of a of, of, of a pathway to victory for Zarafa. So I'm gonna take Laura minus three forty. Um You know, the question is, when they add the props, when they add the uh, over-under, is do you take him by stoppage? You know, I don't know. Zarafra, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to do that here. We can get into that. Join the Patreon, and, and, and we'll, we'll chop it up, and we'll we'll make the best decision on that. But for this, Arison and Laura, I think Arison and Laura on point is a safe bet. Uh, we don't have on point, so just all we have here is the money line. Minus 340. So all we got is the money line. It's safe bet. I'm going to make it one and a half times my regular bet. So in this case, a $100 bet would be a $150 bet. Uh, that would make you 4411. That's a 340 on the money line. This may be a part of, of the uh, lock of the week parlay. But you have to join the Patreon to find out exactly what that is. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts. Comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the boxing book in all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Get that lock of the week and get so much more for just five dollars a month. Uh, also, join the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is March twenty fifth, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.